Okay, big milestone today. Drywall finish, concrete's being applied. The outside cladding's going on. Let's have a look, starting the inside. We're about seven and a half months into the job, and now you can get a feel of how the house is gonna look when it's finished. Notice all the drywalls on the house. Corner beads are getting installed. No more unfinished surfaces. This is the canvas. Now drywalling is when the house starts looking more like a finished product. However, during this process, there is still a rough side of drywalling. Let's have a look. When the house is boarded together, you'll see edges like this unfinished. Two pieces of board creating a butt edge. What you'll see in the end is beads, corner beads, all kinds of finishes that will cap off those edges. And this is eventually mudded nice and smooth. Now, to translate this into other finishes in the part of the house, have a look at the lights. The lights that we have specified in this house are trimless, meaning that there's no flanges around the openings. Right now, it's a little bit difficult to, to imagine, but later on, all you see is just that exact opening in the ceiling. Let's have a look at the HVAC vents. This would look more like a typical HVAC vent in a finished house. However, in this project, these are actually trimless HVAC vents, meaning that the flanges that are there now are meant to have the mud of the drywall mud trowel over top of that to leave you only the black portion visible in the ceiling. So the final product will be just a little slit in the ceiling and it'll be nicely complemented by trimless lights surrounding the other ceiling areas. But let's come back to that because it's a little bit too early. The best time to see it is when the ceiling's nice and painted. Now there's one other feature I want to introduce to you. It's called the Fry Regular. This is a very, very cool and modern way of treating your ceilings. It's not done very often in, in houses, but more in commercial applications. This is where we create shadow lines within the ceiling. Say for example, uh, we want to capture uh, these two lights in the ceiling and this area will be highlighted with the shadow lines created by the Fry Regular. We'll get into that kind of installation in the next coming videos. But let's have a look upstairs and see how the rooftop deck's doing. We had a chance to lay out the pavers for our rooftop deck. These are 24 by 24 pavers set up top of adjustable pedestals. And now you can see the finish is beautiful. A bit dirty, but look at the layout. Perfectly level. We also had a chance to finish off some of the walls. So you get an idea of how this looks when it's about to be finished. So the plan for this house is to work from the top down so we don't have to keep traveling up to the top of the house. So what I want to do is have all the finishes here created, have all the railings installed, the stairway going down, the cap flashings, possibly even painted, and therefore leaving the upstairs alone so we don't have to come up here anymore and just work on the upstairs, main floor, basement, and the outside of the house. Another thing I want to show you is a door detail, which I have in all my jobs. So if you can recall from many videos ago, we installed the doors ahead of time during a framing stage. And if you can see now, the drywall is overlapping a bit of the frame, exposing only about three eighths of this door frame. Now, the reason I did that is because later on, when this gets finished off with an L edge, all you see is a nice nine degree finish a bit of the door frame exposed, that actually eliminates the need to have any casings to be installed around the door. Now this will give you a nice modern look, nice minimalistic look as well. So if you ever want to achieve a nice modern look without the use of too many materials, just have the door frame cut to the same thickness of the stud, maybe one eighth larger in case the stud has some bowing. Have the drywall overlap it, exposing only three eighths, and use a metal L edge to finish it off and they'll give you a nice finished look. So one really big advantage of doing a door this way, in addition to getting a modern look, is once you finish your drywall stage, you don't really need that much finishing carpentry in the house anymore because all the doors are installed. You just finish up your baseboards, get all the hardware and doors down, and it's, that scope of the work is completely finished. Now, so let's check back after all the drywall work is being done and the ceilings and walls are painted and we'll check all the finishes we talked about today, the L edges, the modern door details, the HVAC slim profile exposures, the fry reglets, and we'll see how this modern house comes alive.